What's going on everybody, Sloth here, hope you're having an awesome day. And in this video we're going to be looking at an informed Pizzy player review. So grab some... <laughs> as it's going to be a belter. Now when you first look at Pizzy, he looks like the perfect centre mid. With his standout stats, obviously being his attack positioning, his agility, his stamina, his composure. Which is surprisingly quite high considering that he is a centre mid, set slash centre attacking mid. When you think about the likes of some strikers don't have the composure as high as that, it's a pretty good stat. And also he's finishing at 82, only one lower than Gabriel Jesus, and we all know the absolute terror that he causes everyone on a weekend. So his stats there, not looking too shabby whatsoever. Now, getting into the actual gameplay with the card, whilst using him, I definitely thought that his agility and his dribbling stood out to me 100%. Very good on the ball. When he had possession with the ball, you know, you felt confident with him taking on defenders, performing skill moves, as he does have four-star, four-star, that deadly combo. You essentially need every player in your weekend league side to almost have four-star, four-star, I believe, if you want to be confident uh, going into every game. And he definitely does have that. Stamina as well, very high at 93, which is very impressive. Allows him to get up and down the field constantly, can basically run the whole game as a, as a box to box centre mid with no problem whatsoever. Now I did play him in the cam position so I just wanted to try and get more out of him for the review but I would recommend playing him as an actual centre mid. If you play with three centre mids I would highly recommend having two defensive centre mids and then having Pizzy as kind of your box to box slash slightly more attacking centre mid. Long shots were okay, nothing too special but you're going to see in the video he scored a few really really nice long long strikes from the edge of the box. Three of them are almost identical <laughs> doing the heel to heel flick and then uh, putting the ball so sweet in here in the back of the net. Also taking a slight look at his finishing even though it was 82 in the box I did find sometimes that he, um, he wasn't finishing everything, but that could have come down to use, user error, definitely. Overall, for me, Pizzy performed as a confident, competent centre mid. Being able to perform, you know, consistent passes. Never really felt like I had any kind of problem when he was on the ball, passing the ball. Always felt confident they'd be able to make the pass, including some of his long passes. Very, some very, very good through balls. Just some of his teammates let him down with the finishing. But overall, I was pretty satisfied with Pizzi's performance. I would like to think that if you have a uh, Liga Nos side, a Portuguese side, He'll fit in very nicely in a central role. You can always kind of rely on him to make sure he is doing a job, a box-to-box -box centre mid job, and he'll, he'll pretty much be consistent for you. There won't be many occasions where I guess he'll let you down in that position. You can push him up to cam at a stretch, but I do think there are a lot other better options in that role. But like I said, he's not going to be anything too special, but he's going to do a job. And if you're building kind of a niche team and you need a, a centre mid in that role, he's definitely a card that you could look to pick up. And I don't really think he'll let you down. Overall, I'd probably give him a 7 out of 10. If you did like this player review, please let me know in the comments below. That's all for me. Have an awesome day, guys.